Alright you guys, today we're going to be filling up the uh, deep cell flooded batteries for the solar system. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a gallon of distilled water. We want to make sure it's distilled water because it has no impurities in it or anything like that. So for the battery that is good. Don't ever use any electrolytes to put in your batteries, just distilled water. No acid in there, just distilled water, okay? So what I got here is I got a gallon of distilled water and I have a turkey baster. Got my gloves on and safety glasses. All right, you don't want to get any electrolyte water in your eyes or on your skin or anything like that, all right? So, let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to each individual cell. And we're going to check it to make sure that there's uh, at, uh, adequate water in there. Inside of the cell, there's like a collar. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the water is at the very bottom, filled to the very bottom of the collar. You do not want to overfill these, so I'll show you inside um, what it looks like so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you pretty much lose water during charge on, on, your, on your battery. So um, Trojan recommends that you check the battery every two weeks and you want to add the water after the battery is completely charged with distilled water and the frequency of putting water into your battery depends on how much usage you use so mine ends up being about every month actually so but I still check them every every two weeks just to see and just make sure we don't over, we're not going to overfill these batteries all right so let me go ahead and pop this open real uh, the couple of cells open here real quick we'll take the turkey baster and we'll fill them up and I'll show you uh, where to fill them up at all right guys, so hold on for just a moment and I'll get us in a little closer so you can see. All right you guys, so here's inside of this cell, okay? So it's kind of hard for me to get a good uh, um, video of it, but as you can see, the very bottom of the collar, down there, right at the very bottom of the collar, is where you want to have your water at. See right where the water line's at? I really can't tell if that's a good shot for you guys, but that's where you want it to be. See the water line at the very bottom of the collar is where you want it to be. Do not overfill that, okay? All right, so as you can see, that one's perfect. I'm gonna try to show you guys this one, but I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a good pick because this one needs actually water in it. Um, I can't see if you can see that. Anyway, that one needs water in it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in it. Sorry about the video. So this is the one I'm going to put water in. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my turkey baster. And I'm just going to get some water in it. With the distilled water. And just fill it up so you can just see. I don't need quite that much, but it's good to have the turkey baster because you can control how much water you want in there. And then I'm just going to fill up to the collar. And that should do it. Let me double check with a light that that's what I want. That's where I'm at. And yeah, that's good. I can't, I don't know if you can see that, but that's where I want it to be so anyway I only had really like one cell but that's pretty much all you're gonna do so you're just gonna take some water with your turkey baster or whatever you're gonna use and then you're just gonna add water to it just like that but that's it you guys it's pretty much it it's very simple then what you're gonna do is you're gonna after you're done doing that you're going to go ahead and you're going to um, equalize. Um, with mine, Flex Max 80, it's um, the uh, charger. It's got a built in equalizer. So all you got to do is hit the equalization and then it'll start to equalize it. What it does is it throws an overcharge on there, it throws an overcharge onto your batteries, and it helps remove the sulfate crystals on plates. It reverses the buildup of negative chemical effects 
and which can lower your performance and life of the battery basically so uh, yeah you want to do that um, what you need to do is look in if you don't have um, an equalization on your um, particular um, battery charger um, I think all you got to do is unplug your battery charger and then plug it but you have to have full your battery's got to be fully charged unplug your battery charger plug it back in and then it'll like think that it needs to charge the batteries and it'll overcharge them it's pretty much just an overcharge but check your um, manual to see what you have with like I said with this Outback it's already uh, pre-programmed so it's ready to go all right you guys until next time thanks for watching and I just want to uh, make sure that to clarify with you guys with these um, cells are each individual cells so since I just put a little bit of water in this one that doesn't mean that the whole battery is filled up you have to take each vent off and check to see if there's enough water in there all right and if you don't have enough water in there make sure you get some water in there right away especially if it's underneath if the plate is exposed get you some water in there right away all right and just put it to the uh, over the plate to uh, get a new then get it charged up all right, you guys, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, like my videos. Thank you.